What's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the first ever video of F122 the game is released today and I thought of creating a video on the settings for Logitech G29 racing wheel this is also applicable for G920 and 923 as well okay then F122 has a whole new chapter called F1 life and it looks pretty interesting but we are not here to talk about it so let's get straight into settings and how to go to settings so go to settings go home and select game options and from there select settings and go to control vibration force feedback once you get there select uh, you can see presets for keyboard and logic g29 and you cannot change this logitech g29 profile if you want to change anything uh, you have to edit this and uh, save as uh, some other name because this is the default file so that's what i have done here so i have created something called g29 so you can go there and edit so once you click on edit you could see all the settings uh, on your wheel so we'll start from vibration force feedback because uh, in vibration force feedback you have the main settings uh, for the wheel rotation and all so once you select vibration and force feedback uh, you will see this menu and uh, you have to f uh, keep the force feedback on and other settings uh, it actually changes with your preference how the wheel feels for you so change it as you wish and for this f1 f2 and for supercast the wheel rotation should be 360 i like 360 because uh, it's more realistic but uh, if you want to change it it's totally up to you and for supercars 900 works perfectly for me but if, uh, if you want to change it to 360 just go ahead and if you're a pc user you can uh, use your logitech gaming software or g hub to create a profile and change your wheel settings there as well as you can see here so it's not that hard uh, but uh, since you have this on the game i recommend you to do it from here once this is done you can go back select calibration and in here there are only two settings that you have to worry about that is throttle saturation and brake saturation this is only applicable if you are not using assists increasing throttle saturation would help you in race starts to stabilize the car and increasing brake saturation will help you to not to lock up the car when you're slowing down but you are a pro in this game you can just play without assists uh, you don't have to worry about any of this and uh, you don't have to bother with any of this but uh, 10 for throttle and 5 for brake saturation works really well if you are not really sure what to do with this then we'll move into the control mappings you can change the assign buttons for different controls you don't have to change everything but uh, i'll show you the changes that i have done for my convenience maybe that's helpful for you the first change is the camera button this will be not very helpful for f1 cars or f1 races but will be very helpful with supercars and uh, the next one is the look back button i'm using l3 for that this will be very useful uh, in f1 races especially if you are not using the back mirror and uh, next one is uh, drs for drs i'm using this x button uh, works really well with me and the pit limiter is set to L2 this is a default uh, value so I didn't change it and it uh, works really well also the voice commands and MFD are kept as default uh, because of the ease of use then uh, we'll scroll down and push it off you can use this uh, big uh, round button with the enter sign uh, this will be very useful because you don't have to look at your steering wheel and to overtake I'm using R3 uh, works really well with me not sure about you and after that we'll just scroll down there are some other controls that I have changed In MFT shortcuts, I'm using plus and minus buttons for the fuel mix increase and decrease. Nowadays, it's not that helpful, but uh, to cool down the car, you could uh, use the fuel decrease. And the brake bias increase, I'm using this round button. Uh, you can just uh, turn it uh, clockwise or counterclockwise to increase and decrease. It's really helpful. 
and uh, that's about it and we'll scroll down a little that's all the changes that i have done in terms of control mapping and if you want to test any of these changes uh, select one control and press r3 in this case let's uh, select the throttle so make sure your throttle goes all the way up to 100 but the brake should not be hitting 100 since the logitech have a brake stopper in the pedal but if this bothers you you can increase the brake saturation from the earlier menu and uh, make sure the steering goes from minus 100 to plus 100 so if you have done these changes i think it would really work for you in the game and that's all i have to share with you for today and if you have any questions please uh, add a comment uh, i will reply to you and if you have any questions please uh, ask me so i think that's it and hope you will enjoy the new game uh, it's really good and i'll see you on the next one